Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Eden, not the lost. <laughs> Gotta remember every single time. Eden, not the lost. This is okay. Win 115. Intervals of 5. You know, they're worth something. Kamikaze, Lord of the Pit. Really, really bad rate of fire. 79Z318NK. Um, actually, a rate of fire maybe doesn't seem too bad. Kamikaze is not a terrible haul. Considering that we have so much HP, I actually think that's fairly decent. Because now when we find red hearts, at least on this floor, we can blow ourselves up uh, at, at like no risk if we don't have any bombs. But for now, um, it's a weird one for sure. That helps out a lot, but weirdly enough, we actually don't want to pick that up yet. <laughs> as good as the soul is, and it is really good, especially for the extra spirit hearts it'll gain us. We actually don't want to pick it up because it will... Uh, Make it suboptimal for us to go to the curse room right away. Man, this is a fucking nightmare. Could one of you just die, please? That red heart means the curse room is now free for us to go to. Not that it would have hurt that much anyway, considering we have the soul back up there, but... There we go. Two cents, we'll open this. Uh, it was worth it for the money, I'd say. I'm gonna go back to the curse room, I just wanna kinda play it slow here. That was fantastic. Flatworm is at least... Uh, making it more likely that we'll hit enemies. Maybe we'll... Nah, I'm trying to like figure out what I'm gonna do with Kamikaze. There is the possibility, by the way, that we could just do nothing with it. And that might actually end up being, like, in all respects, the best thing for us to do. This is a cool enemy. I like how it shoots again after it, uh, after it does that. Um, we don't really want that. Let's uh, try this. Half a heart only. Let's try this. Um, let's try this. Hey, it had to work eventually. Okay, we got lots of pills in here, which scares the crap out of me. Three are the same. Three balls of steel. Oh my god. Puberty. Speed up. The speed up is good. It was feeling a little slow. Uh, well, if we've already if we've already used it, why don't we just you know pop all three balls of steel with us here? We'll pick our self back up here and go back to full health. Uh, we might as well go to the uh, curse room, I feel. And we'll be trying to get rid of Kamikaze basically as soon as possible now because uh, we have so many spirit hearts that we don't want to lose just for the purposes of getting a single bomb. Although half a spirit heart to blow up a tinted rock is still a good trade. But how long do you think we're going to be at zero bombs for? Probably not that long. What's our principal problem now? Uh, well, HP looks amazing. Damage is still shit. Like, really, really bad. Uh, and rate of fire, not really that much better. Oh, this will be a great opportunity. If we can get nine lives here. You don't end up... Oh, that's so bad. You don't end up fighting Super Pride that much. So I, I relish the opportunity when it shows up, which is rarely. Let's try not to lose any more spirit hearts here. We're doing half decent damage to... Super pride and fairly decent chance to pick up a guppy item in the process. Certainly becoming cat on the next floor would help us out. All right, we don't get that opportunity. <laughs> That's okay too. Lot that much ado about nothing. High priestess card. Uh, use it on this boss or the next, depending on what those bosses are. I don't think we really want to go to our shop. We'd probably rather have the opportunity to get a blood bank on the next floor than. Uh, I don't know, buying another spirit heart or buying a key to make up for the key that we're spending to get into the shop in the first place. Could get a half price item, but it's fairly unlikely to exist in the first place, so I'm not going to sweat that too much. I'm still, I know I maybe should not be doing this, but at the same time, I'm like, it, it's probably a good idea. Let's not lose all our spirit hearts, but I, we have a rare opportunity, shall I say. Uh... To get some half decent stuff done here. So I'm gonna take it. And we don't start with Kamikaze very much. So was that all worth it for a speed upgrade? Probably not. I'm gonna stick with Flatworm over the Liberty Cap for now. Um, let's see what we get from Famine. Obviously, a Spirit Heart Plus. <laughs> let's see what we get from Famine. I didn't even realize until like a second later how stupid that sounded. But I think it was a good use of High Priestess because our damage sucks. And now we have an Orbital we can use uh, to do extra damage if the case may come to that. Uh. Luckily, we got two speed upgrades, so we're fast enough to get out of the way of that. We did lose more spirit hearts than I'd like to admit, but at the same time, it's not really that big of a deal. Still in a pretty good spot. We really got to pick up some damage here, but of course, that's something that you'd expect to be relatively likely as a result of the fact that we have uh, a more or less guaranteed deal with the devil, but our boss fight could be a pain in the 
dick with the amount of, uh, with the lack of damage that we have going for us right now. This is what I was hoping for, you know, a, a chance at maybe like an IV bag or something like that from our boss. Or sorry, from our, our blood bank. Blood bag would also be fine. Of course, picking up 14 cents from it is pretty sweet as well. We can use that, hopefully, to good effect on our shop. And without any bombs, it is still weirdly good to have kamikaze. I know I, I'm pronouncing that in the super, like, angle-sized way, which, you know, I think is fairly acceptable because I'm super angle-sized, but anyway. Just because I know what's going to come up. 28 cents is also great, but I'm hoping we get a payout, maybe sooner rather than later, just to give us some momentum in one direction or the other. Tinted rock? Somewhere? No? Okay. Was it worth it? Yeah! So, well, maybe not, actually, now that I think about it, because we already have the ability to fly. However, I did not mean to pick that up. I mean, I throw myself on the altar of the cord here. I did not mean to pick that up. We already have the ability to fly. Obviously, we want to protect the, uh, the Eternal Heart so we get HP out of it. So it's basically we traded half a Spirit Heart for an HP upgrade. That's a pretty sweet trade, but we got to make sure we can actually protect it. So I'm kind of hoping we go to our shop and item room area instead first. Uh, maybe our boss trap room as well. Oh, Jesus. Now, I know you're going to say, Northern Lion, have you not learned your lesson about not taking items that can hurt you? But, I've learned many lessons about Bob's brain. Some of them conflict with other lessons about Bob's brain. It's actually, I think, a really good thing for us. Oh, fuck. It's a really good thing for us to have it, because it does so much damage, and we do not. So, as long as I can just... Keep this eternal heart alive. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Obviously, it means we can't play the blood bank anymore. I'm not pleased with that. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, look at how much damage it did relative to our actual tears. There was an enormous difference there. Oh, there is a tinted rock, but I, I don't really want to go for it. That's perfect. Okay, <laughs> that's a great situation. Perfect. We opened up a nice little aperture for us to shoot through here. Most people... Not under the uh, impression that Aperture is a word that existed prior to the launch of Portal. Uh, it was. It means opening. I can confirm, you know, Grade 11 Science. We learned a lot about Apertures during our discussion of optics. D20. Eh, why not, right? We don't want Kamikaze anymore. So D20 at least gives us something to do with, uh, with that. Do we want to reroll that or take it? My gut's leaning towards take it. But my body is telling me, yeah. I don't know, that's... I can't do a good R. Kelly impression. You know, you say what you want about R. Kelly. He's got a, the voice of a golden goddamn angel. I cannot compare to a summer's day. Well, one thing we could do if we wanted to get real ballsy with it is... Uh, play the shit out of our donation machine and then re-roll all the coins... I don't think that's what we want to do. I think we want the map. Let's try it once, just for fun. We got two cents. Okay, I'm not going to do it with two cents. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, four cents is somewhat more reasonable, I suppose. And we got two keys. We took seven cents out of our donation machine. It took us two bombs. We got two keys, some red hearts, and some money back. It's a relatively okay haul. Um... I'm feeling good as long as our deal with the devil isn't total shit, basically. It's a pin fight, so I think we're pretty lucky in that regard. But uh, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm very much losing patience for our lack of damage. Bob's brain is one of the best things that's happened to us in this run. There's more HP, and uh, it, this is helpful. This is good enough, for sure. Little Brimstone we will take, and uh, Goat Head we will take. Sure. Good floor. Good-ish, anyway. So Little Brimstone will now take on the mantle of being one of our principal damage dealers. We've got quite the ensemble cast here. And we have Goathead for the second run in a row. Uh, obviously, that'll be a concern from an HP perspective. That was my own bad for being a little bit ambitious there. Let's not forget, you know, we've, we've had a really good track record semi-recently of using Bob's Brain. What's the secret? Bob's Brain, when it exists, is your number one priority. You don't get to do all the other shit you normally do until Bob's Brain is gone. And when Bob's brain is gone, then you you party. It's like having a child. You know, when you have a child, that child has to become your number one priority. Bob's brain is our number one priority while it's around. Mulligan is a huge hit here. In a good way. Uh, Bob's brain is not... Q. 
can't do anything with that. I don't know what I was... I was hoping for some kind of, like, great moment to come in. So let's just get Bob's brain exhausted. It really is like having a child. We're trying to put him put him to sleep. Not, like, in a euthanized or euthanasia sort of way. Just in a, you know... Gotta tucker that baby out so you can get a little rest. Thank you. Okay, that's probably our secret room. Uh... Kind of hoping for something a little better there. Bob's brain will be back soon. Here it is. Okay, let's try to get like three at once. Might have gotten two. Yeah, we got two. That's all right. I hate doing these drive-by like little brimstone shots. I've got to admit... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm incorrect. I was like, since I played Balls of Steel, I've not seen brimstone or mom's knife. What's up with that? Maybe I haven't removed the mod properly. But now that I think about it, we totally had mom's knife like four runs ago. Please just pass away here. Oh my lord. I almost took damage right at the very end too. That was, really, that was just a boring room. I wish I could say something different. Uh, I don't think we need to do it. What is deck of cards gonna give us here? Magician? I, the D20 just has too much upside. I wish I could be like, no, nah, I don't want it. But it, it has way too much upside. In case we come across a sweet, like, uh, arcade or something like that. Remember, we have Bob's brain. It's our number one priority right now. One way or the other. When Bob's brain is reset, it's it's our number one shot. I haven't really felt the need to reroll anything. Like, individual pennies, it's, like, too little of a haul. Speed up is totally fine. We could reroll our magician card. There you go. Turn it into a key. Was that worth the asking price? I would say probably not, but, uh... At least we did something. You want to check for like a second secret room here? I could use some HP. Especially if we do end up trading with our uh, deal with the devil here. Okay, it's a double deal with the, de the devil situation. It means I can afford for one of them to be Krampus if this is just good. That was really lucky timing on our part. We really can't afford to be taking too much dumb damage here. Contract from below is totally fine, especially with the D20. That could be a lot of fun for us. And I think Gimpy is an acceptable pickup as well. Okay. I don't know why I'm talking like Patrick Bateman here, but let's head down to the next floor. HP's a little scary. I'm not going to deny this, but I still love the way this run looks right now. Bob's Brain? Just get rid of it. See, when you got Bob's Brain, I kind of see it like a dangerous analog to Brimstone. You use it whenever it's available. It just kills one enemy of your choice. Oh, we got a rune. That's fantastic. Her throw is awesome. Could have used that on the last floor. A lot of shit on the last floor we were not interested in, but is what it is. Bob's brain is back. Let's get this guy. He's the most annoying. I'll trade half a spirit heart in here. And that ended up not being the case, and it was fantastic as a result. Okay, good stuff. We are hoping for an arcade as well. Uh, arcade works fantastically with... Bob's brain's back. Uh, it works fantastically with the D20. It's one of the principal benefits of, of having it. Obviously, items like the scapular help out uh, even more in that regard as well. Oh, we want to take both of those. If those had been pennies, that would have been D20-able. This one's D20-able. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we turned a penny into a key. It is a good thing. No counterfeit penny. Just lots of money. Eh, it's still probably worth D20-ing. Oh, that's, that's real good. That's real good. Still very much looking to increase our rate of fire. If you could find it in your heart to do so, I would desire it. Oh, that's pretty solid. Okay, Bob's brain's back. And you're gonna be in trouble. Hey now, hey now, Bob's brain's back. All right, what comes after this? Uh, Loki, correct? No, not even close, in fact. As much as I have been uh, hesitant to use Bob's Brain in my Isaac career, it's not Bob's Brain, sorry, but yes, Bob's Brain, but as much as I've been hesitant to use the D20 in my Isaac career, I've got to admit I'm finding myself looking forward to picking up perhaps some uh, battery-related items. I know we skipped Sharp Plug, and that's inevitably not going to be uh, something that's going to put me in everyone's good books, but I still uh, am looking forward to maybe some low-risk or lower-risk options. Bomb bag at least gives us maybe some extra rerolls, like some extra consumables to reroll, I should say. And an extra spirit heart here is pretty nice. Watch out. Yeah, Bob's brain is so close. We really got to make sure that we get it out of the equation before things get too dangerous for us. Good. Good. 
Um, something's gonna get rerolled, that's for darn sure. Definitely this. Blank card per throw. Look, I have to. I have to. I know. I know. We'll just go back for our money. Might as well take this first, but... Um, yeah, blank card per throw actually is the D6. Except it's the D6 once every four rooms, so it's an awesome get for us. Uh, and I think especially with... Uh, especially with uh, the goat head is gonna have a really easy chance to contribute to a really likely chance to contribute to some awesome items here which we could really use so I uh, I don't feel bad about this pickup I think it was definitely the right one to do still one left man we could use some damage all right so there's a secret room here Bob's brain is also here secret room contains more money I think we left a penny behind as well, but at 13 cents, I'm not overly concerned about it. Can't do much here. Okay, good, good, good. And we can always double up on that per throw if we want to. Give up every reroll in the future for just getting two at once. It might not be the worst idea in some situations, because we could always get something else to use with blank card. Or we could probably get something else to use with blank card. Thank you, contract from below. Yeah, okay, don't mind if I do. Another little spot of HP is something that I'm very interested in. Gertie should be relatively easy. I really feel like Bob's Brain... There's a couple items that they can rebirth that are overrated by the community. I do think the soul is one of them. Did I pick up the soul? on the? <laughs> I didn't pick up the soul, did I? I just got all those balls of steel and never picked up the soul. Oh my lord. Well, every piece of bullet damage that I take for the rest of the game is... Uh, is definitely my own fault, but uh, yeah, that's how overrated the soul is. I don't even fucking pick it up for free anymore. Who wants three spirit arts and an endless ability to def deflect bullets and you know possibly save your life? Not me, that's for sure. Well, that was very silly. In hindsight, probably should have just picked it up right off the bat. I think we'll take it. So we got extra damage, but uh, we are still lacking rate of fire for sure. Skinny odd mushroom comes to mind. It would be an awesome get if we can get it. And Necropolis XL. It actually is possible for us to get to boss rush on this one. We'd want to teleport out, so something like the starter deck would be a huge help so we could carry two cards at once. Uh, also, we should keep in mind, you know, this is the last floor on which we take half damage, so it's definitely in our best interest to take as little damage as possible here. Curse room we will absolutely go to. Lots of money. Did I really get hit by one of these freaking fires, man? Okay, just slot ourselves in here. Beautiful. That is not a guppy item. I can't help but notice. Okay, let's start getting this taken care of. More black hearts the merrier. Rules card. Goodbye. Piece of paper is your guide. It's debatable. Most people use the internet nowadays. Two of clubs. Pop it. We don't have time to be too picky here. Joker we'll probably use because we want to keep Perthro. Algiz Rune is also good. Let's pop Joker right away. I know we have Goathead, but... Um, yeah, we... We'll take nine lives first. And then... The Pact for the extra tiers and damage. And then we take Perthro with us... Uh, to use on... The deal with the Devil that we're going to get anyway because we have the Goathead. And as a result, we can reroll it into... That was very lucky. As a result, we can reroll it into something that will cost Spirit Hearts instead. But yeah, the nine lives pick up. Extraordinary, of course. Huge fan. I can't remember how many cat pieces we have right now. I think we only have the one. Not like Neo from the Matrix, the one. You know what I mean. I think we only have one piece. Thank you very much. Rate of Fire is actually looking somewhat serviceable now. Thank you for the Gimpy payout is what I'm trying to say. You thank Gimp <laughs> Gimp for me. You thank Gimpy. You thank Infamy. You know, you think Trinity Shield, you think Fanny Pack, Mystery Sack, give a dog a bone. Still two hits to kill those spiders. I should have blank card per throw that. I mean, Sister Maggie's not awful, but we could definitely do a lot better. That's, that's on my plate there. Hard to internalize that you have the D6 without actually having the D6, you know? It's weird. Should not have been hit there. My bad. Okay, play smart. Again, like our HP is our lifeblood right now. That's how all of these runs that have kind of looked like they were going to shit, that's how they've gone to shit is my inability to kind of put a cork in the HP loss that I'm experiencing. Okay, I didn't realize that that would work. I was just hoping to hit the, the man behind the chub. 
which is uh, also the title of Ron Jeremy's autobiography, but uh, it's, a, it's a double entendre. Um, that's okay either way. I am hoping to get to the shop. I can't remember if we've donated. I don't think we have. Puberty. Fuck down. Pretty shitty. Maybe more? Is that guy a champion? He might have. He looked a little larger. Fool card. Okay, we do have a teleportation. So if we really get a move on, we might be able to quickly get into boss trap. And we got a double key back there. We're going to have to be real quick, though. And we have to be going in the right direction, which I think is equally kind of a spurious claim for us to be having right now. And let's not forget, we want to take Perthrow with us. Red chest, red chest. There's red chest, so I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to say we're not going to be running for boss rush. We're going to cool it. We're going to take it a step below. Actually, we should take the fool card with us here. We're going to take it a step down. We're going to walk in here. I don't really want purple heart, to be honest with you. And we're just going to get all this stuff for free. And we're going to say Boss Rush is a pipe dream that we don't care about. Let's say it with me. Bob, boss Rush is a pipe dream that we don't care about. We also don't have to do this room, but it seems like a long room with uh, Bob's brain is relatively easy. Greed fight here is actually very encouraging. And the steam sale does not hurt. We'll be able to buy stuff and donate as much as we want. Okay. Still looking good. Nothing wrong with this run. Let's just go back and pick up uh, what we were looking for there. Very nearly walked into that. We got uh, Perthrow Ruin. Yes. Okay, we still got a shop. I really do not want that. We still got a shop. We still got an item room. Two boss rooms and a deal with the devil. We know what's in that deal with the devil. This is probably the area we were most looking forward to. But uh, whether or not we know what's in that deal with the devil, we're going to re-roll it regard... Well, not this is a sentence that is inherently meaningless. Disregard me. Scapular, totally fine. Uh, I recognize that maybe we won't have the opportunity to use it super effectively right now, but we'll see. I think both of these are, like, guaranteed choices. Doesn't turn Perthrow into a... Uh, like, I'd be really disappointed if that turned Perthrow into a uh, pill, but it's okay. Blank card Perthrow is still good, even if I never use it. That's not true, but I hope it... Uh, get a chance to brains uh, losing steam a little bit here it's been a long day of recording Isaac so decent donation We're almost back to the halfway point amazingly enough halfway point of our donation machine being full I mean Bob's brain ooh what did it hit there Bob's brain does not function like shielded tears like it shouldn't explode on an enemy bullet I didn't must have been something I didn't see Okay, there we go. Bob's brain is gone, so we can afford to get a little closer. Still, like, even with the Pact and the Pentagram, I'm like, we could really use some goddamn damage upgrades, man. Or tears upgrades in particular. Like, I think tears upgrades might even go a longer way. I think our damage stat is actually pretty good. It's just our tier stat is garbage right now. Alright, we definitely want to be on this side. Kind of a big miss there. Nothing at that end. Okay, so we're at this point, I was like, I was running through the uh, tactics in my head, and I'm like, well, really, at this point, we're just looking for the boss fight, so let's go do that. We can afford to reroll the first boss's drop if we want, but we'd probably rather not. We have, there's options, so let's just take, like, whatever is not HP, so that will probably have the, uh, uh, permanent Polaroid Invincibility effect. If there's two HP, we just take whatever one is, is best. Or we could ignore them. But it's debatable whether or not that's even the right call. Uh, actually, I'm a hypocrite. We're going to take the Halo. Because it's substantially better and our speed is already totally fine. Alright, Bob's Brain's got to go. We blew up a Tinted Rock somewhat amazingly there. My next goal is to freeze the foot so that I can use our orbital more effectively against it. But this fight's pretty much over already. If I do say so myself. Ooh, we got it! Okay. We're gonna take the Polaroid. We can always reroll this if we don't like it. Or we could take it, use... Yeah, I like that, actually. Let's take it, use it, reroll it. We already have the ability to fly. 
Okay, I don't love it, but I'm gonna stand by it. I gave up all future rerolls to turn a flying item into the rotten baby, and it wasn't actually like a completely useless flying item because we did uh, get spectral tears out of it if we wanted to, so it's a little bit of a tall ask. Probably should not have done that if I'm being 100% honest, but it was a fun play, and if it had worked out amazingly, oh, the things that people would have said. Northern Lion, you genius. You rogue. You rakish Han Solo type. Han Solo? Anyway. Might as well take the puberty pill, just get it out of here. The other reason I took it is because we have blank card. Gotta get rid of this, thank you. Um, it's because we have blank cards, so I'm like, well, all we need is like one more card or rune to show up to be useful for us in the future. Obviously, I kind of blew my uh, wad on that Perthro one. Gotta get rid of this. But uh, either way, as long as we just get one more card in the future, we should be completely fine. Oh, that was just, that was not very smart of me. Guppy's head, better than blank card, but not forever. And it does give us a cat piece, so we're closing in on it, but now imagine if we just saved Perthro. We wouldn't have Rotten Baby, we'd have uh, re-rolled that item, probably twice. <laughs> and then uh, we'd have a really good chance at being Guppy right now. But I, uh, alas, have made my bed. Now let's uh, do whatever you do in beds these days. Lots of red hearts. Can't do shit with those. Curse of the Unknown, admittedly, scaring me just a little bit. I'm thinking it's boss rush, or sorry, boss room down at the bottom with a, a Mr. Fred type situation happening. Because it's almost always a Mr. Fred type situation happening. Alrighty. Watch out for Bob's brain, you idiot. As you were saying it, it happened. What do you think's gonna happen? Two of diamonds. Blank card, two of diamonds. It's a little weird. I guess we might as well keep it um, because we don't have anything else to go in the blank card spot. It's very strange. Guess if you push me for it, I'm happy to have it because there's an off chance that maybe we get money equals power and this could end up being a huge coup for us. Probably the screw and I have no idea how much HP we have. Enough to justify taking brimstone is my guess, yes. Okay, great, I suppose. And we're going down to the next floor. Probably boss room up in the top right there, but it's never super easy to tell. And oh, little brimstone, regular brimstone. It's been so long. Oh, that was not very smart. It's been so long since I've had you that I forgot that you work well together. I previously erroneously stated that those enemies only show up on Shoal. My mistake. I did not realize that that room was in existence. How uncouth of me. Yeah, I think we're fine. Um, especially considering we got nine lives. Like, I could be a little anxious about the fact that we're not, you know, doing fantastically with respect to me not being an idiot about my HP, but... We also have invincibility, we've got respawn ability. We might as well take the cartridge, like I really doubt that it's gonna be useful, but... It doesn't make sense for us to take Flatworm, which literally does nothing for us. Uh, and it doesn't make sense for us to take a full health pill either, so let's get a move on here. Bob's brain's gotta go. There we go. Alright, we're in the groove now, and when we can line up our shot and Little Brimstone, we're, gen we're gonna generate uh, so many flies as a result of that, because the beam uh, generates, or has a chance to generate flies per tick, I think. At least that's the way it feels to me may or may not be an exact science, but it is the sweet science. What do you mean I've got that confused with boxing? No, I don't. I think you are mistaken, sir. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say that our boss fight's actually over here. Normally, you, you go for the second secret room and then kind of uh, work backwards from there. But here, I definitely think we're on the right track. Blank card moon? I mean, they're both pretty terrible. We are about to be able to double ourselves up to 99 though, so, I mean, I guess. I'm almost too lazy to do this for my own good. Blind card, two of diamonds. Two of diamonds. I think we just take 48 hour energy down with us, honestly, and then if we get a great card on the next floor, you know, that's better than being able to go to your secret room like 12 times for no reason, especially when we already have blue maps so we know exactly where our secret room is. 
So this is the the rare pill that is going to be better with blank card than the cards that we have, strangely enough. I mean, with Brimstone, oh my Jesus Christ. Got a little, another little pop-up telling me to restart my computer. How about you realize that you work for me, computer, and not the other way around, okay? It's like, oh, you know, I'm just making sure that I'm able to do my job. And I'm like, you know, I'll be the guy who does his job. You be the guy who fucks off until 2 a.m. when you restart, do a Windows update, and then, you know, fail to load Windows the next morning. All right. Let's do this. Uh, very important. This is pr the last point. I'm talking to you, brain. This is probably the last point on this run where I fully need to pay attention. Which I think is good for me to have a kind of a watershed moment like that, where I can be like, you know, this is this is where we need to give it our all and we can relax a little bit on the next floor. We have to get through this Isaac fight so that we have, you know, it done. Once it's done, it's done for good. So just don't get hit like two more times. You should be totally okay. Shouldn't have canceled my brimstone shot early there, but that's okay. And if we get down to the next floor with nine lives, there's an extremely good chance we can just, you know, basically carry ourselves to the finish line. But we had to do that first, and now that that's done, I think that's very positive for us. Let's see what we get here. No curses, please. No curses. Tech. It's good. Tech point five. Mm, piggy bank kind of sucks. Pisces with the tears upgrade is maybe good. The other stuff is terrible. We'll wait for a uh, possibility of a Perthrow rune. I think if we go left and then straight up. Yeah, the tech point five pickup is really the big one there. And even then, it, like, is it, I haven't seen it fire yet, so it's freaking me out a little bit. Tech point five? Maybe, maybe it only fires or has a chance to fire on release? Why is tech point five not firing? Is our luck stat that, you know, piddling? That's really the word I chose to go with it, piddling? I don't know, man. I'm just happy that it appears it's another hard day of Isaac recording uh, without a loss about to go into the books here. We shouldn't necessarily count our chickens yet, but let's be honest, it's looking pretty solid here, especially given the tools at our disposal. Oh, this will be a great time for a tarot card. You no, know, you can do whatever you want, sweetie. Your dad and I will love you either way, but thank you for the tarot card. Blank card, high priestess, I guess. It's not terrible. We got two plays of it. Maybe boss room's over here? I mean, I'm not going to be too bent out of shape about it, considering that we've actually uh, gained HP on this floor. Okay. Little scary. But the damage there is not that bad. Just waiting for the opportunity to take it into the boss fight, which is hopefully somewhere else. I didn't even want it to be there. All right, now we got to be thinking that it's like... Well, do we know these? 48 hour energy again. Balls of steel, so good. I can see forever, pretty solid. Might as well blow this up. 48 hour energy. Let's just pop it, and then we have another battery we can draw from later. It's gotta be this way now, right? Like, unless I'm actually losing my mind, I don't think there's any other possibility for it to be, like, up there. I can't really see on the map. It gets a little too translucent for me up there, but. I think this is the only available opportunity, but mostly I'm just kind of amazed that I'm still uh, on this run that is amazing, but, uh, oh yeah, definitely this looks like our location. It, it was even where our second secret room was located, so that was my bad, and I definitely should have realized that a little earlier. Anyway, second secret room, what do you got for me? A speed upgrade. Uh, how amazing. All right, drop one, drop two. That was actually a decent use of blank card. I mean, obviously, Perthrow probably would have ended up coming through in the clutch for us in a more extreme fashion, but very, very easy run finished up for us as Eden here. At least it, it turned very easy pretty quickly, even though I'm an idiot and left a soul behind. Um, I acknowledge my mistake, and I throw myself on the uh, mercy of the court. I apologize. For now, though, I think it's 115? 115? Five away from two months straight. That's blowing my mind. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.